Hi everyone, this is Anne, and I received a request to do a Bridget Bardot um, volumized teased hair bump video. So um, I do tease my hair every day, and this is kind of the amount of volume that I do on a daily basis. And you could go bigger or you could do less, um, depending on what you want. And um, I do have layers to my hair, so it does lift a little bit easier than if you don't have layers. And I also color and um, highlight my hair, so I try to cut down on back combing so that I don't get too much breakage to my hair. So what I do is I um, shower and then I dry my hair, and as I'm drying my hair, I just use my fingers and the hair dryer, and I will lift up the crown of my hair and just kind of hold it straight up and hit it with the hair dryer to try to get those roots to get a little bit of lift as I'm drying. And then when I'm done drying my hair completely, I take two Velcro rollers and I place them in my crown, one towards the back and one directly in front of it. And I don't put a lot of hair in them. I just take a small section and I pull that forward and then right at the roots, I place the roller, I roll it forward slightly and then I put the hair up over it and kind of push it down in. And then I like VO5 brush out spray and I spray the hair on both the rollers because I have one directly behind here too when I do it. Um, and then I either let it dry naturally or if I'm in a hurry, I'll take a hair dryer and dry that hair. And then once it's completely dry, I take out the roller and that just helps give a little bit of lift to it without back combing. And then um, I take my flat iron and I style my hair. And so just style your hair however you normally do or however you want to. And then I take the two sections of hair that were up in the rollers and I just take that. And then I take um, Big Sexy Hair uh, back home in a bottle and I spray it right at the roots. And then I take a three uh, row back home and I push down two or three times right at the roots and then release it. I do that, you know, kind of going all the way back on my crown. And then what I do is when I'm all done and my hair's all dry, I take the whole crown section and I hold it up and I take my VO5 again and I spray right at the root. And then I take a hair dryer and I dry that and then I release it and just kind of let it stand up really big while you do your makeup or finish getting ready. And then um, since hairspray can kind of leave it a little bit crunchy and stiff, I take a back combing brush and I just go all along the crown and I just once or twice and then, you know, push down and then run it all the way through your hair to get the crunchiness out. I do that all the way back my to the back of my crown and then you just use your fingers and play with it to get it um, the shape that you want and then always take a mirror and look in another mirror to check the back of your hair to make sure that it's not parted weird or anything like that and I hope this tip helps and I'm new to YouTube so if you like my videos please subscribe to me and if you like this video please hit the like button Thank you for watching.